Howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here, and... I can't talk to you once you start that sucker. I started it like, this is the third time now, because somebody keeps talking to me the minute I come on here. <laughs> Just because he's cleaning the... the fourth of the RV up there because the cat did a major spill out on the Lazy Susan. Right, honey? Can't talk to you. Not while you started that sucker. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I have something to drink, honey? I think I have some leftover coffee there. Okay. Um, and I can have the leftover morning coffee into the leftover last night coffee and some ice and I would be so happy. I was going to see if I had my shirt on right side out. It's one of those days. Stop laughing, you guys. <laughs> it's May. What is it, honey? Uh, 30th. What? This thingy covered up my... Oh, this little box covered up my little thingy. It's May 30th, 2016. It is 3.26 p.m. on this fine Monday afternoon. Happy Memorial Day. Everybody, Brad, just be quiet. He's over there. Don't you start making faces at me either. I know he's gonna. No. Yeah, he's gonna. No, I wouldn't make faces. Yeah, he's gonna start making faces at no, me again. I'm he's not. sitting there trying, going, hee 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 hee. I'm not gonna make faces at you. Things in my. Whoa! I just got a full moon. Told I mean, the full moon. Wow. Told you I wasn't gonna make faces. <laughs> no, but you sure you sure did crack, didn't you? Yeah. Anyway, it's 89 degrees out, but it feels like 98 degrees. High will be 91, low will be 69. It is a smugly mm -mm, out there. It is. What did we do yesterday? Well, what do you guys think we did? After I got done making the video, what do you guys think we did? You got it. We took naps. Did you sleep? No. But I didn't sleep. Did I sleep? Oh, yes. I slept a little bit. Yes. Um, and I woke up not feeling good at all. So, but I didn't feel like cooking. And, of course, I didn't feel like cooking. So, um, we did, you know, because we can't really afford to eat out. Uh, now, you know, I mean, his pension came in for next month, but we really can't afford to eat out very much. So we did our splurge for the whole month of June, and we got Pizza Hut. Um, you know, which didn't cost us anything more than if we'd gone to, to a fast food place. So, you know, and we ate off of it for a couple meals. Um, so we did that. <coughs> but also stopped. Thank you, baby. Also stopped in CVS. And got me some St. John's work uh, for my moods. And um, no, I, I'm very frank with these guys that I have anxiety. I have a long, long, long history of depression. It, it runs in my family and stuff. Can you have me the St. John's work? Um, and uh, um, also got me some Diurex because the swelling is just in my feet and it's in my lungs the edema you know the pulmonary edema and stuff so um i don't know if that's helping or not i mean i'm assuming it's helping some um well my i probably my feet probably would have popped open by now me my toes would have popped off like little grapes on an over swollen thing Poof! but not looking at me now because he wants to laugh no. yep no. yep Yep. So, um, and you're supposed to take two of these. These are the Sundown Natural, um, 300 milligram, supports positive mood, and it does really help. It helped me anyway. I've had good success. Um, and, um, uh, I don't know how much was this, honey. Which the? The St. John's Port, sweetie. Um, 1399. 13.99 and the second one was half off. So all right, so we just combined both of them into one. Um, it's 150 capsules, so there's 300 in here. 
You take two capsules three times a day, uh, preferably with meals. And, and, you know, before I was taking it wrong, I was just taking some at night. So, you know, but it does help. What is that, sweetie? It's um, a button and an earring post. I don't need the earring post. I don't wear earrings anymore because I'm allergic to anything I put in them. Even a hypoallergenic one. Yeah. My ears just say, no. Nah. I used to be able to, but now, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Anyway. That's if I don't get feeling better. I'm going to give you one more day and then it made me go to the hospital. Because uh, I woke up this morning and my breathing has been really bad. I, my asthma has been just... Had to stop taking the leave. I got away with taking it for about a month. You need to take some more honey. Because it is, it is up there. Or you can take some out of, out of my medicine because I can't take it anymore. Um... Yeah, I got away with it for about a month, month and a half, and same thing as last time. I'm swelling up so bad. I'm in so much pain because I'm swelling up. I'm having such an allergic reaction with the breathing and stuff, and so I'm just one of those people that just can't take it, you know, but once in a great while, so um, I had to quit taking them, taking just Tylenol now. Um, Woke up with a cold this morning, my you know, chest cold and in my throat and stuff too. Have taken some cold medicine, but you know, um, we're just working on getting that insurance through. So then um, uh, we'll be able to go and see the doctors and get back on our medicine. But uh, are you out of the Victoza now, or are you no, still? I keep okay. I'll, I'll if you, I'll take any of the medicines that you're finding up there. Just. Set them aside and I'll take him in back, including the skin so soft. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. Um, poor guy. <laughs> we're, we're quite the couple. We're like Mutt and Jeff. I mean, I'm you know. Mine. What? I'm the mine. Are you? Yeah. I mean, you know, his back going out and, and I'm, uh, you know, can hardly walk with him so swollen in the knees. <laughs> And, uh, uh, you might need that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then my breathing and stuff, so. But, I mean, I'm not complaining, guys. I'm still happy. I'm just, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I usually get a cold, usually around the 1st of July every year. Well, I live in a warmer climate now, so this is not surprising it happens sooner. Um, you know. Like I said, I just have a low immune system, and uh, and it happens quite easily. Um, Brad's wearing my, my straw hat. Uh, but uh, I did not get any looming or fainting done because of that. Um, I was so sick and stuff, and, you know, we just, you know, I, I just, I didn't get any of that done. The RV park is calmer. People, a few people left yesterday. A whole bunch of people left this morning. Yay! Give us back our park. Give us back our space. Yesterday, by the time we got back from going and getting the pizza, uh, the the people next to us were gone. Um, they had a great big boat and a truck, and then they had a tent in back. Now, the thing that got us is. And I know this may sound petty, but they plugged into our electricity. These are clearly marked what campsites. They just didn't care. You know. So But it's not it's not petty because we're paying for their Yeah, because we're paying for their electricity. They don't care. They're here for a day or two. Well, I don't want to pay for your electricity. We're on a very limited budget and even if we weren't, I still don't want to pay for your electricity. So Brad nicely because he could have just unplugged it and left it. But he went over and he plugged it into their the proper electrical outlet, or, you know, post that is theirs. We get up this morning, you know, they, they, by the time we got up this morning, the boat was gone. Or no, when we got back yesterday and the tent was gone, they left trash back there. They threw a bunch of trash right where our, our electrical posts are and stuff. 
you know, there are people that have pulled out that have left their fires going last night about 11 o'clock, and I don't think it was anybody in the RV part. There's a, a, a vacant lot across the, the uh, street here uh, that used to be a business. I think there were young pe people over there shooting off fireworks. It really gets me, though, because a lot of veterans and a lot of people are just triggered uh, PTSDs in them, you know, uh, also, it terrifies dogs and cats, especially dogs. We ended up giving three out of the four of our dogs melatonin last night to calm them down because we had the giant Schnauzer Nixie, we had Mastiff Charlie, and we had Missy Mama the dogs, and all were terrified and shaking and stuff, especially that poor giant Schnauzer. I do not know what happened to her in the past, but she was just terrified. So we gave them melatonin. We looked up the, the correct dosage for their weight. You know, we had a veterinarian turn us on to that years ago, and it did work very nicely. Within, what do you say, within maybe 15 minutes, they were calmed down, you know, and stuff. Uh, um, you know, they were, they were dozing. It didn't give them, it didn't give them, you don't give them enough where they're staggering and, and there's a hangover effect or anything. Uh, you know, it's completely natural. A lot of veterinarians use it, you know, um, as a, a, a sedative before surgery or before even clipping nails. Uh, some dog groomers use it, um, you know, but, uh, it worked out well, and they were happy. The only one who didn't care about the fireworks down and stuff was the beagle. You know, because all she cares about is where they're from. Um, you know, but, uh, so we did that. Brad, uh, had been so great taking care of me and stuff. He, he keeps telling me I got to quit beating myself up about not feeling well. But, you know... I hate it when I can't do everything I want to do and, and, you know, I'm stressing myself out worrying about meeting obligations that, that I've committed to and stuff. <clears throat> and it's like I can't con control my body even though I want to. You know. Did you take some leave, honey? <coughs> it's right up there. I can see it right there. <coughs> you see it, hun? Look right up front and straight down. See, yeah. So um, let's tell him what he'll leave with because he needs to take them. He's his back in quite a bit of pain. But I'm so happy that the RV park is starting to empty out and calm down. Yesterday was not near as bad. Of course, I was inside last night, um, but you know, was not near as bad for uh, you know um, the parties. I mean, it never got real, real loud parties, and I think I think the people that were running around yelling in their golf cart stuff, I think they got in trouble, you know, because they didn't do it last night. Uh, they were really, the, the manager and her workers were really, really patrolling this area. They do. They come through here in their vehicles, and they, they watch and stuff. So, <clears throat> and I've seen them before check out a few people that they kind of question whether or not they were really supposed to be in the spot. You know, I've seen Bobby do that before, huh? Do what now? Uh, ask people to see uh, uh, a receipt or something. Yeah. I've seen him do that before. Yeah. You know, because we know one one night uh, there was a guy who stayed in a campsite who left his vehicle that I don't think he paid, and he left really early the next morning. You know. So, uh, but, um, uh, other than that, we're kind of cleaning house. Um, neither one of us feel too perky, so I was taking a break from, from doing stuff. Oh, thank you, babe. Uh, to make this, this video. Um, uh, and then, wouldn't you know it? Okay, you guys know I'm a vapor. The other night, you know, I'm all upset and everything else. And then my one tank, because I glue them, because my tank's only... This is a pro. This is a pro one tank. I have two of the purple pro t two tanks, and right around here, you see where this ring is here, um, and this one. They'll come after a while. They'll they'll come loose, 
And these are made to be rebuildable. So what you do is you have to glue them. Well, I had glued both of them and then both of them let loose at the same time. I'm stressed out and anxious and <laughs> I start crying and Brad's like, Gosh. you know, and I'm like, you know, because I'm like, there's, no, there's no nicotine in it. It's just, it's just the motion of it. But, you know, all it is is vegetable glycerin and then the, um, uh, Loran, uh, uh, Loran oils. Well, they're not really the oil. Loran flavors. Flavors, you know, cause I can't, if there's oil in it, you can't use it in there. But, um, yeah. So, I thought it was kind of comical, though, afterwards, because, you know, they're like, I just want to vape! You know, but I'm, I'm not near as, as, uh, quite as weepy as I was now that I'm taking the St. John for it. It'll take, it says it takes about two weeks to a month, honey, okay. before it really kicks in. Aren't you excited? I'm oh, thrilled. you know. Did you tell him about not a person? No, I didn't tell him about not a purse. What about not a purse? Okay, we have a backpack. It's a sling purse, actually. A sling, not a purse. It's a sling messenger bag. You know, it looks like a deformed backpack, basically. Well, he kept calling it my purse, and I said, it's not a purse. So now he always refers to it as the not a purse, you know. Because I don't like carrying purses. That's just not my deal. I mean, either. Brad does, though. Don't you, honey? No. So we've been doing a budget. That's not fun. No. Just like, mm, do we really have to eat this month? So, you know, Brad's been taking care of some stuff we need to take care of as far as, uh, you know, making sure the insurance, you know, everybody has our new address and the insurance and all that good stuff and, you know, Fun, fun, fun. Um, we're trying to make this more of a functional home. I know I keep saying that, but you know, you do a little bit and then you change your mind. <laughs> and, you know, now that I'm painting and stuff again, then you got to make room for that. And then Brad's back was killing him and he needed to sit in this, uh, this chair. Uh, uh, it's not a recliner, but... What do you call them? A chair. A chair. <laughs> you know, and now it's like uh, all of the looms that I told him, like, you know, I was so upset about. All but the thin wood. Other thin wood in there cannot go away, though. Um, they can all be put in the underbelly because I'm not using them. Because uh, I'm just using the uh, thin woods. And, yeah. Right, honey? Right, baby. You got anything to say? It's not a purse. You need to say something. <laughs> he told me not to talk to you once you started this. Where's my green apple and, and, and caramel green apple vape do? Oh, hell, I have no idea. Is it still outside? I don't know. It might be. We got to let dogs out pretty soon anyway. I'll help you do that. Anyway, I know this is really boring. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to... What is that? What does it say on it? What does the top of it say? It's a mint something. Mint chocolate chip. Yeah. That's not the flavor right now, though. Okay. Put it back in my blue basket. Don't mess it up. Where's my blue basket of eight? I have no idea. Yeah, it's a little basket, remember? I think it's up there. No, I don't know. Talk to them. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's mess he's touching my stuff, people. You told me to. He's messing up my stuff. You told me to touch your stuff. Easy there. That was innocent. G rated. That was innocent. Then <laughs> it was really boring for that stuff. trying to swallow but, you know but um i'll get feeling better oh yeah you know happen to the best of us yeah we'll looks like there might be a whole bunch of people that are gonna have them a cookout cool you know and uh 
Mm -hmm. You know, we could get our driver's license. That way we could get our fishing license. We're going to go tomorrow and get our driver's license. Uh, we had to kind of switch some things around. Just some financial stuff that, you know, when you move, things get prorated and, and you know, stuff. So, uh, uh, we... Different, different insurance prices moving to different states. Well, it was only $7 more, though. Yeah. It was only seven dollars more. We switched our insurance. Gave the because we go through Geico. Gave my new new address and stuff. It's only seven dollars more to be here than from Wyoming. But a lot of that's got to do with uh, um, our, our driving record is, you know, perfect. I mean, okay, I had two speeding tickets, but those were really long time ago, so don't even start it. I'm, that was at least eight years ago. That last ticket I and the ticket before that was twenty-seven. 28 years ago. I was say a word. 28 years ago. Well, this is probably the anniversary of that date. Too. It probably is. <laughs> You're crying. What? You're crying. Well, I've never been pulled over and gotten a ticket before. <laughs> Policeman asked me the highway patrol. This is when I got my first ticket ever. I've only had two. Um, anyway. He pulled me over. He asked me what year it is. I'm like, oh, I don't know what Brad told me. And what, what, what else did he ask me? I don't. I don't know the standard question, but everything. We're like, oh, I don't know what Brad would give the answer. You know. <laughs> yeah, man, of course. It's lucky I married this man because this is the first time he meets my parents oh, at my brother's graduation. He has to say, he has to tell the girls, to prompt them to, to, to tell my Everybody. parents what, why did mommy get pulled over and stop? What were the flashing lights about? And then, for a long time after that, whenever, whenever I was driving stuff, he'd catch me off guard and he'd go, Boo! One time he made me spit my coffee all over the windshield, inside windshield, while I was driving. Remember that one? He's a bad man, I tell you people. Oh, He's lucky I even stick with him. Right, honey? Right, baby. Okay. Find my, my green caramel apple, green apple caramel bait. Okay. I hope you guys are having a good Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. We aren't doing anything. Brad's going to barbecue some chicken out later on. I'm either going to make potato or macaroni salad. I haven't decided which. I don't know which one he would like. Which one would you like? Macaroni? Okay, so I'll make a macaroni. Um, but yeah, you know, hoping some of my paintings for sale. Um, you know, it's probably a bad weekend to start listing them because everybody's busy doing their stuff. But, um,. And hopefully I'll get some more done tonight. Um, I need to get some stuff off to mail. Um, you know, I gotta get some more hat done. I just don't have enough time. But then we're gonna want to fish and, huh, right? Yeah. And work, work, work. yeah, work, work, work. But anyway, that's all we got going on. Remember that I love you guys and I cherish your friendship. And I think you're all awesome. And I hope you're having a great Memorial Day. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.